there's a problem. There's a huge problem. On top of COVID-19, there's another problem. And there's this app. I'm not sure you've heard of it before, but it's called Tinder. And I've just found out about this app. It's lying. And obviously it tells you to create an account, sign up and post a picture of you. You know what I mean? I've done all of that. And I mean, uh, within two days, I've got like 25 matches because, well, you know, um, I'm not bragging, but um, I'm good looking. And apparently like people on Tinder, the women on Tinder are looking for guys who are really tall which is very ironic because women are generally midgets and I'm six foot three, maybe six foot four, and I put on my profile for whatever reason I don't know. I'm just constantly getting matches. And I don't know something about being black just makes you attractive anyway. I'm, 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 you see, I'm promoting the culture and I got a lot of matches, but what I didn't know is that those women that match me actually don't look as good as they are in their pictures when compared to contrasted to real life and I was thinking wait I'm gonna meet this super super model this blonde white lady oh it's gonna be amazing but hopefully we're gonna be in a relationship (laughs) fuck it out when I saw her I was like um hi (laughs) I'm like were you the one I uh, match on tinder I was gonna say you look different but I tried to be very respectful uh (laughs) I can't believe what I saw. I'm like, so basically, I got catfished. And what, that's what I'm trying to communicate to you. Let me get to the fucking point. I got catfished. And Tinder is just a place where women catfish men, to be honest. I didn't catfish it. I put everything I put about me on Tinder is true. I'm six foot three, maybe six foot four. Um, on my best day, if I'm wearing boots. And generally... <laughs> Shit. I put well. I've got, I've got a great personality. I'm gonna treat you well. <laughs> well, treat you well for fuck's sake. I mean, come on. Um, I'm a gangster, but <laughs> yeah. So I got catfished. Then I've got another one as well. I was thinking, hopefully, this is gonna be fine. And she, I thought she's from London, because I put like the distance across the country on Tinder. So I thought she's from London. So we met. Like, but it turned out she has a fucking like. Liverpool accent, I'm like, oh shit, you should have told me you got a Liverpool accent, or you should have put it on your Tinder profile, I speak like all that from Fulham from Liverpool, you should have let me know, you know what I mean, because now I fucking, I don't want to go out with someone from Liverpool, you know what I mean, so, yeah, so if I would have been you, like, and you're a guy, and you got all these women on Tinder who are lying bastards, delete your fucking account, and that's it, just roam around, and eventually you're gonna meet that fucking woman of your life, woman of your dreams, true fucking, um, magnetic connection, <laughs> oh, Jesus, fucking hell, what, what have I seen there, mate, I think I'm looking at a cat right there, have you ever wondered, do the cats and dogs just go, um, uh, why are the streets so empty, well, I don't fucking know, maybe there's something going on, because, you know, Dave, Dave I've been going to work quite recently, and, you know, my owners have just been indoors anyway. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. yeah that's what I'm just trying to say. There's, there's, there's just not catfishes, but it, we, this country has an epidemic of fucking gold digging whores as well. So I'll talk about that in my next mini podcast of create, I'm creating. So have a nice day.